all right hello you guys and welcome to the channel if you're new don't be go ahead and click that subscribe button to join the witness gang to be a part of the witness nation let's go oh long time no see you guys i do sincerely apologize but i guarantee you i have been away for a good cause um, my daughter demi who is five years old suffered a um, seizure in the wee hours of the morning um, like two um, two and a half weeks ago and um, never had it in her life and so um, you guys be praying for her and her health I've just been focusing and concentrating on family right now and uh, praying for her health okay um, now let's get into this okay All right, so I've been in my like I said, but this got me out, okay? Because you guys know I've been covering like uh, Asriel and a, a lot of that shenanigans, right? And I told you guys I talk on topics that I can semi relate to, okay? But this in particular is dealing with R. Kelly because some stuff had came up in the news. I'm gonna give my opinion about it. You've been warned now. If you do not want to hear any negativity towards your Peking. Get the hell off now. All right, you've been warned. Now let's go into it. So Chicago Sun-Times reported three men charged in plots to bribe, threaten alleged victims of R. Kelly. Okay, goes on to say, one man allegedly discussed paying a victim $500,000 to keep her from cooperating with the feds, saying she got too much. Another harassed a woman who filed a lawsuit against Kelly, the feds say. The article goes on to say the overtures began in late May, months after a woman who once publicly defended R. Kelly turned on the R&B singer and began to cooperate with federal authorities. In a text message, the woman was allegedly told he wants to pay you for silence. Then in a phone call recorded by law enforcement with the woman's permission, Richard Arline Jr. allegedly offered the woman half a million dollars to stop working. Working with the feds you got some ish I don't know what the F you might got some videos or some iPads or whatever you might got your story online allegedly said they just want that to disappear you know what I'm saying now I'm gonna be interceding in between because it's long okay I'm probably not even gonna remember my point, so I'm gonna intercede. Okay, so this alleged woman, I'm curious to believe that it may have been as real, okay, who they're talking about, because we know that she's cooperating with the uh, feds, and we also know that at one point of time, um, she was on R. Kelly's side, so it could only be her, or it could be Joycelyn, but come on now, we know. Now, in regards to what this particular phone call and uh, text message said, uh, why would you want it to disappear? If he's not guilty, let her show whatever little evidence she got. Why do you want it to be disappear? Why do you want to pay her for this to be um, for this to disappear? It goes on to say, Narline 31 of Dalton has been charged by federal prosecutors in New York with trying to prevent the woman from testifying there against Kelly. Also charged in separate but similar schemes are Donnell Russell, who is uh, 45 of Chicago. Now, if you guys don't remember, I actually did a video in regards to him doing an interview with um, Nick Goodnight. Um, he did an interview with Neek at night, okay? And I did a video in regards to that just because I had talked to Angelo and he actually, yeah, Angelo did um, a response to this interview that he did with Neek at night. Um, and he had all this hot stuff to say, but hmm, it seems like he's in the same situation as these, um, as the alleged individual prior to. Hmm. Anyways, um, um, Donnell Russell, 45 of Chicago, and Michael Williams, 37 of Georgia. Criminal complaints against all three men who each have ties to Kelly were made public on Wednesday. Feds say R. Kelly controlled bank account with $1.2 million despite claiming lack of funds. Now, I know you, you people, uh, you little pee hivers, okay, um, and are going to be saying, see, he ain't broke, it's a money ploy. 
that has nothing to do with nothing okay but anyways um the complaint against our line said it remains unclear whether kelly or others negotiated a bribe payment on behalf of kelly still the new charges are bad news for the singer who has been locked up in chicago's metropolitan correctional center for more than a year though he is due to go um to go to trial in chicago and brooklyn this fall both cases could be delayed by the coronavirus pandemic without question robert kelly had nothing to do with any of these alleged acts by those charged steve greenberg one of kelly's lawyers wrote on twitter after the charges were unsealed he hasn't attempted to intimidate anyone or encourage anyone else to do so no involvement whatsoever and we can cut the bull okay we can cut the bull his handlers know how to move because they've been doing this for years so even if our kelly didn't pull the trigger i guarantee you he's not gonna say oh no don't threaten her oh no don't do this and mind y'all if y'all remember if if i'm not mistaken even Azrael spoke on that. He was, she was like, you know, when she went the day when they got into it, um, she knew that uh, it was a certain time or Kelly was going to talk to her. And she was like, after Kelly got to her, she started acting a different way or whatever. So, like, please, Greenberg, please, okay, please. Like, we not finna, we not finna act as if he didn't have no participation or he didn't have no okay with what these uh, handlers were doing. I don't care what you guys say about that okay now i know you guys might say well why would he because you know he has all these cases he wants them to shut up he wants to look good because he knows he is not getting out period kelly's legal team has been trying to to get kelly out of jail for months pointing largely to pandemic but prosecutors have underscored allegations that kelly obstructed justice in his 2008 cook county child pornography trial which he did he paid off the family that's why i want to keep saying this man got acquitted he wasn't charged for anything yes boo-boos because he paid off the family now he can't do that it, this family don't need your money these people don't need your money they don't care about that they want to get your butt under the jail where you belong period poo anyways um it says this week prosecutors also said a bank account controlled by kelly received at least 1.2 million last year and in recorded jail calls kelly appeared to direct people to contact a nominee to receive payments indirectly from kelly mm -hmm. see he know how to say what he needs to say without saying what he needs to say he knows that he's been recording all these stuff like that that boy that man ain't that stupid earlier this year the feds alleged that a prison staff member helped kelly come on now 53 make an unrecorded phone call now they say kelly called the woman at it uh, at issue in the r-line complaint under such under uh, under such circumstances though that woman has not been identified by federal authorities the facts in the complaint appear to match those surrounding former uh kelly girlfriend Azrael clary mm -hmm. so this was when he was trying to i guess um call her and so that was the phone call that i guess they're saying that they um you know allow him to make unrecorded prosecutors say the woman began to cooperate with federal authorities january 8 kelly's birthday after publicly supporting him in a march 2019 tv interview i said that i thought it was as real if i had a way to talk to rob being next to him and telling him what's going on without nobody listening to no feds nobody he gonna pay her a blank off to be quiet our line allegedly said of the woman in one recorded call with another individual she got too much she got too much clary also claimed this summer to be the victim of an arson attack that appears to be at issue in the complaint against williams
So you guys were able to see that this is what the post stated. I realized I realized a lot of people are in, influencing people for all the wrong reasons on social media. Some even portray a life they cannot sustain. Cars that are only rented for weekends, mansions that are only booked for occasions. I've literally never seen anyone post when they're when they've been at their lowest. I, me neither. Me neither. So this is me at my lowest. Someone not only set my car on fire at 3 a.m., but they also made a gas line around my entire house with intentions to burn my entire home down. It was something that was premeditated, but the fact that someone would go to that extreme to harm me is sickening. It is, to say the least. You guys have no life. I hope this inspires you to not portray a one-sided story on social media. I hope this inspires you to show the bad so when you do win, people can connect and celebrate that win with you even more. I've been dealing with this, which is why my feed and YouTube videos have been put on pause. Thankfully, the police are doing their due diligence during a sensitive time like this. Nonetheless, everyone is going through problems behind closed doors. Whether they choose to share it or, e or not, even the people you look up to, I just want people to tap into the reality of our world and publicizing a perfect cookie cutter life is just not real. Can we start posting real life on our feeds? What's really happening behind your closed doors? Because perfect does not exist in our world. And that's just the truth of the matter. Hashtag be true to yourself. Hashtag protect black women. Okay. So that was that post and you saw that. Okay. And she spoke on that. And people, I guess, were saying that she set her own car on fire. All this, that, and the third. Let, let, look. Okay. And I guess she got backlash in regards to putting that out there. And she made it a point to say, just like Cardi B's and stuff like that. You wonder why she's not putting any content out or music out. Or if you don't know what a person is going on, what going through behind the scenes. And I am so here for that. I relate to that again because I'm going through life. When I tell you, about, I think we all are going to life, but I don't think a lot of people are taking under consideration that the celebrities are going through life too. Like, he is accused of setting fire. He is accused of setting fire on June 11th, my birthday. <laughs> it was lit, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, to an SUV parked outside a Florida home where an alleged Kelly victim was staying. Ahead of the attack, Williams also allegedly made several internet queries, including where can I buy a uh, 50 cents custom machine? Oh, a 50 custom machine gun and countries that don't have extradition with the United States. I hopefully I didn't say that wrong. Y'all know I can't some words be becoming of me um, as well as a search for fertilizer and diesel fuel that led him to visit a website titled how do fertilizer bombs work come on now let me let me just put this out here to you guys y'all gotta understand that anything you put out here on this anything you put out shoot anything you speak it's gonna manifest anything you put into this www it's going to be there. Don't think just because you wipe stuff squeaky clean. And I'm, I'm a product of that. I'm a pro I'm not product, but I know that for a fact. I'm a hacker. Okay. I know IP address. I know how to vanish my IP accounts. I know how to break stuff. I know all that. And yes, I'm putting it out there because you got to catch me. All right. But with not for nothing, not for nothing. I know that if I www got something, it's going to be there. You know, all they got to do is go check the motherboard. It's going to be there. If you break down your computer and trash or whatever, you better hope you destroy the motherboard. That is going to kick your butt every time. But anyways, let's go into it, okay? Russell, a manager and advisor to Kelly, is accused of harassing another woman who filed a lawsuit against Kelly. The Fed said he also created a Facebook page called Surviving Lies, a play on the title of the Lifetime documentary series Surviving R. Kelly and posts screenshots of text messages and sexual explicit 
photographs of the woman there. Now my thing is this, uh, and that's the and that's the um, that's the end of it. Okay, this is my thing in regards to all of this. Okay, with all of this being said, all right, here's here's what what I'm finna get into with this. Okay, this is the reason why I continuously had my foot on R. Kelly's neck when it came to everything because my thing is a guilty cry out. A lot of you guys want to sit up here and play that good old violin for R. Kelly, but why are you doing all this? Why are you allowing all these people around? you to do this it's a bad look you are the company you keep okay and the bible says don't let your good be evil spoken of so negro if you're doing good if you're not doing anything wrong why does it look like you are why why is all this badness around you like you know what i'm saying everybody i always want to be up in my comments and sit here and get up on these alleged victims and talk about what they're doing talk about this but what are these people around r kelly that again that i've said whenever i was talking about uh in a video where a lot of people tell me do i hate r kelly i'm gonna insert a little bit of that clip here me and i just have no sympathy when it comes to individuals like this and i've said this before but i got i guess i have to reiterate myself um i come from a genuine place anytime i do a video i don't know nobody in regards to the celebrity uh gossiping or news that i place out there and give my opinion with so none of this is malice none of this is um based off of any personal feelings towards these people because i don't know them personally this is just based off of experiences that i've been exposed to um and uh the, uh, the knowledge that god has given me you know what i'm saying in regards to experiences that i went through okay and that's it okay normally if i don't really know about something i really don't too much talk about it that's why a lot of my content is kind of just uh one note um reviews and you know uh, angelo and Israel situation because it's near dear, dear to me in the sense of the topic in which we're talking about which is se sexual abuse okay um and any other um things that i discuss is more so because i have a personal outlook on it and normally if you guys can attest to that if it's something personal you'll hear a story come out of me and it's based off of my personal experience okay so in regards to the whole R. Kelly situation, this is the reason why I just kind of just like be like whatever when it comes to him. I was sexually abused from the age of five to the age of 14 uh, by one um, particular family member, but it was um, uh, um, 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 he was male, but then it was also a female and then it was other experiences that I went through on down the line. Okay. And with that being said, um, I was five okay I was five and um, as I got older I didn't want those things to happen to me I didn't care to express a, a sexual knowledge at that age I mean I didn't really comprehend a lot of things but I was talking to one particular person in my comment and I was telling her um, she was saying that did nobody really listen to our Kelly like you know did nobody really uh, give give him help and I was like no Sis, remember in the documentary his own brother was like they were discussing it and he just noticed that Robert liked it you know he didn't like it Ken or Kenneth whatever his brother name is he didn't like it but he noticed that R. Kelly did and this ex was coming from his sister allegedly okay and so the thing is is that he liked it at me at that age I didn't know what I was liking that's why you know in regards to this whole uh transsexual experiences at that age i don't care what you say when you're talking about genetics or um uh, not genetics when you're talking about gender and all this stuff like that you're too young you don't know what is what you know i didn't know for years i didn't even know i had the as many as holes down there as we do you know and i had even been exposed to sex by the time and i still didn't know the anatomy of a woman so you mean to tell me that at this age i know if i want to be sexually involved with the same sex okay but anyways back on the topic okay so um when i hear people say oh she wanted it she was hot she knew what she was getting herself into dot 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 it kind of gives an excuse for this person these people to do what they were doing to the these individuals and i just I just don't roll like that and I don't appreciate that as a person of experience and I remember watching Nick at night and she will say uh, in a lot of cases when we would respond to the R. R. Kelly situation she would say oh you guys are taking this personal you're in your feelings uh yeah 
Absolutely. Just as well as you're taking and depicting this whole situation personally too because based off of uh, experiences. And I remember her saying that she's never went through that. So you're basing your thoughts over not going through that. So you can't relate. But you have a person or people that have been in such a situation as being sexual abused that can look at stuff and be like, no, she wasn't wanting this. She wasn't fast. You know, and if she was fast, so what? Like... Where, what does that make sense where it's okay to say, well, she was fast at 12, 13 years old, so she deserved to be sexually abused? That don't even make sense. That, that, that don't even make sense. As if you feel like they put themselves into it, if they feel that it was not becoming of them and they're trying to get themselves out, kudos to them. Why are we steady standing up behind men, black men, white men, whoever they are, and they're garbage? But as a black woman, we're supposed to hold it down and be beat down to where no more. But we never hold these men, these women that are doing these acts. Because like I said, I'm a woman that did these acts as a young lady. You know, but I didn't know no better. I was acting on that spirit that was in me because at that age, you don't know sex. You don't know, you don't know sex. You don't know, you know, what you're doing. You're just kind of repeating acts. That's why I pay close attention to my children. Apologize and stuff like that. I would. The thing that I just don't have respect for, I kill it. He has no remorse. And that's the thing that, that, that kills me. Is that when you know you have all these countless of encounters of people seeing the same thing or something similar to it. Or saying that you did something to them. And to be unapologetic, I have no respect for that. I have no tolerance for that. Okay, and that's what I deal with. I deal with the man. Okay, and I'm holding this man accountable. All right, and at the end of the day, we all got to meet our maker. Okay, so I have no heaven or hell to place this man in, but these are my opinions, and this is the reason why I am so gun ho behind Azrael and all the other alleged victims that are involved, and anybody else that's been involved with uh, sexual abuse. I have so many people in my DMs just saying, oh my God, thank you. Can I share my story? This and the third. Okay, so I don't, I'm going to stand in this and what I believe. And if you don't like it, carry on, deuces, okay? You don't have to be on this channel, okay? All right, you guys, that's the video. And this now, in that people were saying that I didn't like him and I had to address on there, no, y'all need to be talking about the people around him don't really like him because if they did, they wouldn't be doing this stuff. They wouldn't be threatening the uh, alleged victims. If he's not doing anything, if he has nothing to hide, let them come out. Let them do whatever they're going to do. It's case in point, when you're not cheating on somebody, you'll be like, here, here my phone. Here, you want to check it? Here. You know what I'm saying? But if you cheating and hot, you want to, oh, wait, let me, let me, let me, let me do this. Let me do that before you hand it over. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, why you, why you saying that she got too much? Why does Ezreal have too much? For those that want to sit here and say this girl ain't got nothing on them and all this stuff like that is, oh, her feelings were hurt and this, that, and third, and she da, 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 da. Why are you trying to pay her off? Let her look crazy, right? Ain't that what she is? She crazy, right? She's butthurt. She's bitter, right? So let her look like that. Why are you trying to pay her off? Why are you setting cars ablaze and looking up bombs and stuff like that? So please, somebody get in my comments and stay on topic and address this right here. Because it ain't nothing that you can really say or, or, or explain to me in this case. This looks horrible on the, on the side of R. Kelly. Horrible! It's nothing where you can say and or do in regards to this situation, if you ask me, you know, but everybody wants to, you know, I guess uh, in, in attack Azrael and all the alleged victims character, but y'all not questioning these people that are literally around R. Kelly, literally in position managers and, and things like that and supporters are around him, like in this day and time that are moving trashy. You want to sit here and you want to get upset at Azrael for moving the hell around when, when stuff got hot, but you want to turn the other cheek when you got people that are still in this man's face while he's in jail and they're moving the way they moving? It's just, y'all are hypocrites. And it's contradictive of you to sit here and say, oh, look at what Ezreal doing. Oh, what did you do? My boy, it's a buddy thing. What, what, what y'all think that these people are doing? I feel as though that they got their hand in the, in the cookie pot as well. You are the company you keep. 
Okay, you are the company you keep it. Mm, it's funny how a lot of you guys want to sit here and say that Ezreal and all these other people should be in jail, her daddy and all this stuff like that. But who is in jail? Who is just got picked up? Three men. One in particular that uh, was all up on interviews and stuff like that, and this, that, and third, and blah, 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 blah. You up here doing all this hocus pocus. Okay, I'll wait. Anyways, you guys, I just wanted to come on here because when I saw this, I was like, oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? Okay. But tell me what you think down in the comments below, okay? Um, and while you're there, go ahead and check out the description box. I want to give a shout out to my brand affiliates, um, Lips and Lashes by Shea Cosmetics. A couple of her products on myself right now. We're going to get into that, okay? So let's go ahead and start, shall we? I'm excited about this particular haul because of one particular product that I just saw when I opened up. However, we're not going to discuss that just yet. I'm going to actually go in the order of the um, order sheet. And we both had on the um, clear lip gloss. Don't get in. I'm going to show them the picture of us. And she had on the clear lip gloss as well as I had on the clear lip gloss. I haven't worn a lip gloss in years, honey, and probably since high school. So today was to wear it again. I was like, oh, God. All around different kind of products, and this is no different. I am so excited to tell you guys about this Milani Art, a Melanin Art travel bag, okay? This is so dope. Look at this bag, you guys. It is so cute. Y'all, and it's very spacious inside. Look at it. It's coming inside. Like, huh? Shea Cosmetics. This is her uh, line of lipstick. I love it. Um, I think it's number 10 is um mia moore if i'm not mistaken um i'll put it somewhere in here where you can pull it up but check her out lips and lashes by shea cosmetics um it is a link in the description box below if you use my promo code you'll get a discount off okay also give a uh, shout out to shazash creations check her out these are all black owned businesses in the description box down below with discounts don't you love a discount and especially in lieu of everything going on in the pandemic okay so let's support our own okay now it's your turn like i said go ahead in the comments down below tell me what you think about this keep it cute or get the boot okay and i mean that okay i mean that if you don't keep it cute you will get out of here all right now that doesn't mean that you have to agree with me but keep your opinion on topic okay and i will keep it there and maybe you'll get a response back from me okay well you guys that's the video thank you so very much this is whitney d and i'm she signing off bye i'm whitney